Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. Today I'm blogging about robot envelope studies. This is one of the most basic tasks you go through when you're designing and building a robotic system. You have to consider the robot's envelope, the shape of the part, the tool, and the position of the part relative to the robot. What you're trying to do is ensure that the robot can access every point on that part with the desired angles. What brought this to mind was a recent integration failure that we witnessed. When the integrator turned on their robot, it couldn't reach the part. Back in the 80s, this is all we had to work with. A robot envelope plan view and elevation view. To this, we'd add the torch and the part and maybe a part positioner. We'd try to position the two relative to each other so we could access every point on the part. Now we have much better tools at our disposal. Our current favorite is Robot Master. This is an offline programming system, which also allows us to do envelope studies. This works with most major brands of robots. And today I'm going to give you an extreme example. We have a large robot, which has to service two two-axis part positioning tables, and it has an extremely long tool. In this case, it's a two meter long welding torch. The best way to conduct a robot envelope study is with a virtual robot, so you don't make any real mistakes. So if you're building or buying a robotic system, make absolutely certain that someone is doing a robot envelope study to prevent unnecessary cost and time on your project. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.